two of the following videos are right. true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Let's begin. If you dip an Oreo in milk for about 10 seconds, this is sped up, it will get very soggy and mushy. Sure. However, if you dip the Oreo in chocolate milk for a similar amount of time, it won't get soggy and you can still hear a crunch when I break it apart. That's true, and that's because the chocolate milk is more contaminated, which is going to slow down the capillary absorption and therefore make it less soggy, though it will still get soggy over a longer time. This is kind of like in nuclear power plants. We use very clean water to optimize heat transfer, and we work to get rid of the dissolved solids. It's no secret that different elements emit different wavelengths of light when burned, but did you know that some contact solutions contain sodium borate, which burns bright green? Squirt a decent amount of... Borates do burn green. We actually use boric acid in nuclear power plants. Think of it as liquid control rods. ...onto a hot fire and then be patient as you wait for an epic burst of green flames. Carefully break... Though, that's got to be an exaggeration because the concentration of that sodium borate was so low, it's not going to produce that green of a flame. ...cube toothpicks in half. Then pour some water on the plate. If that All moves right. your toothpicks, quickly put them back into the shape of a star. Then sit back and watch the toothpicks move into a bigger star. Yeah, that's just a natural flow process. Entirely passive, capillary action again, and swelling. Just like zircaloy cladding swells under heat and pressure in a nuclear fuel rod. So two is the fake one. All three videos, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Turns out it's true that Oreos don't get soggy in chocolate milk. They do, but slower. It's the contact solution video is fake. Yeah, that concentration is very low. 